How's it going, everyone? My name is Nuri Plays, and welcome once again to Shadows of Loving. I can't wait to get back into this game. All right, let's go tell her about the compass. I got that compass. Oh, good. Not too much of an ordeal, I hope. Could have been worse, I guess. There were some horrible fairies. What? No, don't tell me. Just don't cut that thing and then get some rest. I'm a step ahead of you. Great. Nice work. I think the next artifact is a book. I'll have the location narrowed down by morning. Sounds good. So, I don't want to sleep. Not yet. I want to do these first. I want to find Charles's chalk key. And then the Dirt House thing. And then clear a nest of vampires. We'll do those first and then we'll go get some sleep. Okay, so to get the chalk key, we need to wander. There's an eerie music house. Alright, let's go to Zimmer's house. Whatever that is. This seems like a pretty normal house in a pretty nice neighborhood, but there's something odd about it. Some sort of uncomfortable energy that makes the hair on the back of your neck stand up. Maybe it's something to do with that weird droning tone you hear coming from inside. Like a pained inhuman moan, constantly rising in pitch. Yeah, maybe that's it, yeah. Yeah. Oh god, we're in. <laughs> you knock but hear no response, so you nose your way inside. The eerie sound is even louder in here. It seems to be coming from upstairs. Also, the owner's interior design sensibilities are a little strange. <laughs> what the hell? You pull out a sheet, but it's all a German. And du kannst kein Deutsch gesprennen. Okay. Does that mean... Yeah, I can't speak in German? Or something like that? Because someone in the comments below let me know. <laughs> it was you! Why are you playing this tune? What? Who are you? Why are you in my house? Sorry for intruding, but I heard the music. And I guess I have an intrusive nature. My name's Sam the Dam. Well, I'm Ernst Zimmer. Forgive me for not stopping, but it is vital that I continue playing. What are you doing? There is a darkness beneath my house. Did you check the fuse box? No, I... It's probably that then. Listen to me! I had the dream, a premonition, of a dark rift appearing in my basement and growing until it swallowed the entire house, and then the neighborhood, and then the world! That's quite a dream. It was not a dream. I went downstairs to check the basement, and there is indeed a rift. And as of now, it is still small. I must keep playing this cello to prevent it from growing any larger. I'm sure there's a rational explanation. Probably just the trick of the light, plus your anxiety over the nightmare. <sighs> You're probably right. Just an old man jumping at shadows, I suppose. Happens to the best of us. Don't worry, everything's fine. Everything is not fine, is it? Uh-oh. Maybe convincing Zygma to stop playing his cello wasn't such a good idea after all. Ah. Uh, um. What happened to your house, bud? You want to come downstairs and check? There's absolutely nothing wrong, I assure you. Eldritch Mist. <laughs> <laughs> the world is full of vapors. Most of them are bending. But some of them are terrifying. This is the terrifying kind. Moths have eaten all of the contents in most of the container. You pull out a sheet. It's a piece entitled All Arbeit and No Spiel Makes Ernst a Dull Boy. Don't understand that one. That joke is a bit too complex for my brain cells. I just got more black sludge. <coughs> Great. Oh jeez, that sure is a dark rift in space over there, just like Zimmer was afraid of. Well, nuts. Ah. Uh, oh. Oh. Wait, let's step. Oh, really? Yeah. You find yourself in an infinite black void. Or well, it looks like an infinite black void, but you have the uneasy feeling that your brain is only showing you an infinite black void because it doesn't want to try and process what this place actually looks like. It's a weird feeling. Let's look around. Wow. Cool. A thrumming spike of nega energy. We can dampen it. 
Oh. Uh, uh, I don't know if this is a good thing. Um. Now they're all turned off. Anything happen? No. Who are you? This creature is built more or less like a large muscular person. You built a large muscular person out of some kind of writhing black ooze and or smoke and or just plain raw dark darkness. I thought it said darkness. It has a fist sized glowing crystal embedded in its chest about where its sternum would be. And as you draw near, you can feel its radiating invisible waves of energy. Some kind of like heat coming off of a radiator except the opposite of that and also not at all related to that look incomprehensible forces are tricky to describe okay the creature shambles back and forth waving its arms in a way that looks like it's dancing or praying or maybe just absent-mindedly flailing it seems oblivious to your presence although that will probably change pretty quickly if you try to interfere with it like, say, if you try to pry the glowing crystal out of his chest. Um... Yoink. You make a quick grab for the crystal, but it's firmly lodged in the creature's chest. The creature howls, and its long spindly arms flail ineffectually as you, barely cognizant of your actions, plunge your hands into murky flesh, fingers questing through lukewarm tar until they find ribs. Gritting your teeth, forcing open the cage, creaking, cracking, snapping like dry branches. You grab your prize and tear it free of the muck. The creature evaporates in a sigh of smoke. The crystal is both warm and cold in your hand and has a slight buzzing vibration to it. Let's take it. Yoink. Nice. Okay. There's probably this puzzle where we have to turn these on in a specific order. And this is going to be very weird. Let's smash it. You put a hammer out of your inventory, or if you don't actually have a hammer, whatever object would be most hammer adjacent. It gives the crystal solid whack. It makes it sound like a baby being torn in half and bursts into glittering shards that shoot off into the darkness. Immediately you feel... Well, I was gonna say a massive earthquake. But since you aren't standing on the ground, you wouldn't feel that. It's more of an everything quake. You should probably get out of here. Uh-oh. You dive back through the rift just before it collapses. Thankfully, you find yourself back in Zimmer's basement and not some kind of horrible between dimensions purgatory. You run up the stairs to tell us the good news. Wait! Did I do a good good? Is that what I'm getting? I fixed it! I closed the rift! <gasps> oh! Oh! You did? That's wonderful! I owe you my life and probably also my house's life. Yeah, take this cello, I have no further need. Oh, hell yeah! We solved it. I wonder if there was an even better ending to this. That is cool. Like, turning on those thick things in order or like a specific pattern. I bet that would also do something else. Okay, I'll take the cello. Hell yeah. I don't have a lot of muscle though, I'm a mystic mysticalous man. So... It's not going to be much use. Okay, let's see now. Okay, so we haven't even done any of these yet. Let's keep wondering then. Uh, what's this? A couple of black orbs. Fight them. It's not like they'll live anyway. Look at that. And then I'll just do sleaze damage to all of them. And then stink them up real good. And then that would be it. We are actually getting a bit too strong right now let's wander again we found the truck key all right let's go back to charles i think it was plunkett street wait who was that outside a blonde flapper cracks a chewing gum that gives you a sharky grin a little waver hey there big boy you're certain them damn right i kind of waffled that who's asking oh look at you being all tough and mysterious well molly buttons is who's asking book and i do like games but don't push your luck with me Okay, you got me. So how do you know my name? The boss sent me to lend you a hand. And to keep an eye on you. Savvy? Hey, what? Hey now, I put in two weeks notice before I left Pokies Keepsy. Fair and square. Huh? No, not that boss, you ploker. The boss. The boss? You know. She glances over both shoulders and hisses you. The mob boss. Oh, that. The boss. 
Sheesh, I can't tell if you got a screw loose or if you're just funning with me. <laughs> I like to keep people guessing. So what, you're supposed to partner up with me? That's the deal, McNeil. And do what? What's a 20-something girl like you doing working for the mob anyway? Hey now, I ain't just a pretty face. She pulls out a Tommy gun. A Tommy gun with a full-size drum mag from behind her back. Gives it a flip in the air and catches it with a mad glitter in her eyes. Holy jeez, put that away before someone sees it. <laughs> Cripes. You have to whisper, fear boss, but you're fine with waving a machine gun around in public? So are we teaming up or what? Hell yeah. You sounds dope. I've always got room for a gun totting cutie pie. Oh, are you flirting with me? That's real sweet, but I got a sweetheart already. And no offense, but she's cuter than you. Shucks. Well, welcome to the party anyway. Peachy. You want I should come with you right now? Or cool my heels off at the dam for a while? Yeah, come with me, actually. She's gonna be uh, a pretty valuable asset to the team, something tells me. Alright, Charles, here's your bloody key. Wait, got something you might find handy. I finally found the time to check out this door behind me, and it turns out there was an old bricked up passageway back there. Leads to the dam. Hey, don't mention it, kiddo. I found it! I found a truck key! Under a bush. Oh yeah, probably that bush I was drilling holes in the other day. What can I do for you? Oh yeah, I saw your name in the uh, Polycops. St. Polycops. Oh sure, I do a little whittling to pass the time now and again, but sometimes I go to St. Polycops to look at the gargoyles. Here, have one. Gargoyle charm. Spooky armor. A little wooden gargoyle on a leather strap, whittled by Charles Wallace. Thanks. Alright, that's it, right? And then this takes us to the dam. And then obviously we can take Gabby, but I want to take other people. Wait. So then they bend over the water fountain to take a drink. Boom! Huge spritz of pressurized water right in the face. But here's the clever part. See, it only happens once every 20 or 30 times the button is pushed. So nobody ever expects it, even if it's happened to them before. Say, that is pretty funny. Wait, wait, wait. let me show you these diagrams, what I call a whippy park bench. You will love this. It's always a good feeling to see two people hit it off so well. I swear there's like new people. Is this guy still a scammer? He's still a scammer. This guy just... Spoons. They're not even maracas, they're spoons. <laughs> I want the spittoon. I see a spittoon. Belong to a famous adventurer from Frisco just before the turn of the century. Who? <laughs> Mumfler Fumperdink. Alright. If you're watching this series, you probably know who Mumfler Fumperdink is. Right? My name is Mumfler Fump Fumper Fumperdink. Yes. Alright. Dirtress House. Let's go there again. I kind of want in, man. Damn it, man. How do I get into this guy's house? <laughs> what if I just keep knocking? I bet I need an item for this. For this quest. Out of the distillery. Okay. So we need to go to the Crystal Dream Lake again. Let's go to the Crystal Dream Lake. And then go to the distillery. You see a familiar looking person heading towards you on the path. As they get nearer, you realize that the reason he looks so familiar is because he looks exactly like you. Again. Uh, hi. Are you a clone or is this time paradox or what? Turns out it's a pi time paradox, I guess. Wow, crazy. I agree. High five. Oh my god. Oh! Oh, this is what we've done last episode. And it's come back to bite us. <laughs> She glares at you as you approach, her eyes flashing blood red. Be gone from this place! You have no business here. I do actually, and I'd like you to invite me inside. What? No! Don't you have to? I thought that was one of the big vampire things, that if someone asks you to invite them inside, you have to do it. That is nearly the most opposite of truth that is, it is possible for it to be. Oh darn. Leave this place at once, or the consequences will be the most dire. Oh, come on, don't be like that. What's he eating you? 
If you do not leave, the question will be, what is eating you? And the answer will be me. Ah, uh, that was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, you really set me up for that one. I'm gonna beat your ass. And then one tap. Just like that. Yeah, she stood no chance. Ah, uh, there's almost certainly more of them inside. Before Moxie squirm through. A crate of vodka. Take it to the speakeasy. Wait, where was that? Oh, where was that? Speakeasy. Oh my goodness. I don't know. I forgot where the speakeasy was. Well, we have to fight these guys anyway. This is going to be easy peasy. Ah! And you're dead. <laughs> and I'm healed as well. Thanks. Lovely. And he leveled up. Mosquito leveled up. We got even more XP as well. Five stench armor. I don't think I can get that, right? No stench armor. That's annoying. So we can't turn these valves. That's unlucky. Alright, more vampires. Bring it. Bring it all. And then... Bro that Tommy gun is insane. Skull cane. Muscle plus three spooky damage. Cool. What? Vampire boots. Wait a minute. Yes. I want to put those on. Oh, we're floating now. Ah, finally. Some boots that are just not annoying. Okay, we did the quest though, right? Yeah, okay. So that was Dircher's house. I really want to complete that side quest, so I'm gonna quickly search up how to do it. Just really quick. Okay, so I found out. Check the rocks in his lawn. Once you find a date to look up, take it back to the news station. So we need to go back to the news station. Uh, which... The bus stop is at the lighthouse. Uh, there it is. And then we have to search up the dates or whatever. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. News hound. You gain extra XP for learning new things from the newspaper archive. Any other dates? Okay. So now we should be able to go to Dirch. Is there an egg? I want to ask you about the poor quarter. There we go! Nice. That's what I was looking for. Alright, can we just rob this guy's house real quick? Wait. <laughs> oh, you can fish with the hot rod that we got. Root beer taffy. Sick. Any chance I could take this? That ain't mine. Think the cat dragged it in. Is that a yes? Don't remember the question. Salty fishing rod. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Blubber the lamp. Let's talk to this guy. Hmm, what do you want? Well, uh, I'm from the Ocean City Watch for Eye, you know, the newspaper? Don't trust newspapers, nor newspaper reporters, neither. Well, nor others. But fortunately, I am only one of those three things. Can I ask you about the poor quarter? Ain't nothing to say. Storm blew up unexpected. We hit a funny rock. All hands lost. <laughs> that was decades ago. Why are you bothering me now? Well, I, uh, it's a slow news day. How many men were in your crew? Those pig legs, handsome Jeff, and some less handsome Jeff, and old barnacle face. He looks askance at the row of urns. And, uh, the other one, so five. You have a lot of urns. Crew's bodies washed up for sure after a time. Didn't figure they'd want a sea burial after what happened. So I had him cremate. Well, except, except that fifth feller were never found. I ain't, I ain't recall how that urn got there. He was a member of the crew, right and proper, though, so he got as much as right to be as any of them. 
Okay, come on. Chat with, with the urns. Talk to the urn. Anybody there? Yar there, Johnny. Ye can speak freely now, sailor. So I got rid of that no good lamb blubber. Yar, Captain. What they want, anyhow? Uh, nothing of import here, plus. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. Okay, but not that guy. Oh, the cigarettes go to this guy. Put the cigarettes on the tray. What now? Confront the shifty guy hiding behind the bookshelf. The bookshelf? Oh! <laughs> what the hell? Hey, what are you doing in, um... Were you seriously about to ask me what I'm doing in here? Yeah, even as I was saying it, it sounded stupid. How did you find me? I hid and watched when you came out for your smokes. Oh, that was you, huh? I thought the captain's voice didn't sound quite right. So what's the deal? It's basically just what it looks like. It looks like you're hiding in this old man's house to rob him while he sleeps. In that case, it's not at all what it looks like. I'm listening. I'll admit, at first, I was planning on robbing him. I figured an old sea captain must have a secret treasure, right? He wasn't a pirate! No, it turned out he was just a lonely old man with nobody to talk to except, well, his old sailing buddies. So I started hanging out back here and chatting with him through the wall. He didn't find it strange. <laughs> he was a little spooked at first, but once I'd gotten a handle on how the different voices should sound and learned enough to keep up with the anecdotes, he relaxed. It's nice to have someone to talk to, even if the situation is kind of weird, right? That's all. I'm here about the st stolen urn. Oh yeah, that was probably a mistake. You'd mentioned the fifth sailor a few times. I thought he might like to have the whole crew together, you know? So I lifted a random urn from that little cathedral to fill the spot. It seemed like a good idea at the time. That vicar needs it back. Okay, it'll be weird if it just vanishes though. Can you swap it for another one? The captain doesn't open them, so he won't notice if there's no ashes in it. I'll see what I can do. How do we find another urn? Find an urn like the one at Dirtry's house. What? Wait. Are you telling me that the urn is at Polycarp's? It's not, is it? It's not, is it? Splash some water on your face. <gasps> oh, I lost the effect. I have more HP. Spare. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Okay, wait. Let's light that, but hold on a minute. Spare urns. Burial urn. <laughs> wait, let's go back there. Um. Dirtious house. Um, I'll give you a music lesson again. Sure, why not? And then replace. Bang! Bang, dude. Yeah, I did. Great service so square then. Everything's Jake. Yeah, I suppose. Oh, yes. We can finally complete this. Oh, I'll beat your ass up. Come on now. They literally just get like one shot or something. Questo for Stormento. That was so easy. Why why did they even come up to me like that? I got it. I got the urn. Bud. I got the urn. Uh do I have to talk to this guy now? I did it, here you go. Wonderful, I get this polished and reinstalled right away. Blessings upon you, my child. In fact, let me make that blessing literal. I have some holy water of St. Polycarp here somewhere. Ah, here we go. St. Polycarp's forehead. Thanks. Say, whose ashes are in that urn anyway? Well, sure, we don't know his name, but he was a sailor who washed ashore near here after a shipwreck. Some of the locals took him in, but he didn't survive the night. Poor fellow. He was interred here as an act of charity. Was that about 50 years ago, give or take? Oh no, it was more like 300 years ago. Interesting. 
All right, nice. All of that, donezo. Let's go to bed. Let's get some sleep. Well-deserved sleep. Uh, Charles flags you down. I got some applicants for the new stuff and I fixed up. Over there on the side of the color was surplus store. Got a second to pick one? Sure thing. The first applicant is La Table Enchante. It's like a high-end kitchen store, magical utensils and the like. 10 things I hat about you. A hat store. A hat store. So we can take photos of the hats. Let's go to the hat store. Hell yeah. And now we hang that skull over. Whoa, we are fast. Wait, why are we so fast? Briefcase full of meat. Hold on a minute. Free Hondo Mito. Oh. I'll take that. God damn. The Glaxton Valve <laughs> flipping poster, man. Oh no. Museum of Skulls. Wait a minute. One of these skulls is yours and it's missing his teeth. Give it the ones you're carrying. You put back the teeth. You put the teeth back in your skull. It tries to thank you, but it has no tongue. You got an item, no tongue. It's a quest item. There she is again, flipping Dark Noel. The woman scowls at you. You'd better have some good news for me, Noel. The good news is I'm dreaming. Everything is just peachy keen, Madame President. Good. The damn project is complete. What? Everything's perfect, man. The circuits are lit up just like a crimbo tree. What about the interloper? The what now? Yes, I'm working on that. A little bird has told me his last name. The damn, if you can believe it. Our friend Morris is his uncle. Wait. Their friend? Plot twist! <laughs> God damn! Any, any relative of Murray Morris is an enemy of ours. Oh, okay, never mind. Find him and get him out of the picture. I'd be delighted, ma'am. Both Noel and the president wink out of existence with an ominous sounding pop. You are ready for this dream to be over. And how? Okay. All rested up. Let's get cooking. How you feeling? Fine, I guess. I've been having weird dreams. Oh, like the one where you were driving a car, but you're in the backseat. Can't reach any of the controls. I can't remember very clearly, but I think it was weirder than that. I really hate that one. Anyway, I found the next cursed thing. It's a hardcover book. And yeah, big. And it's somewhere on the campus of Seaside Institute of Technology. In Porcum. You ready to go? I haven't even had any coffee yet. I'm sure you'll be able to find coffee when you get there. They've probably invented some kind of high-powered science coffee or something. Alright, alright. Do you have a map of the place? No, but it's a college campus. It can't be that hard to find your way around. College students do it all day. The bus to Porkham leaves from the usual stop. Good luck. Thanks. Okay, so there's a new shop. There we go. There it is, the hat shop. This is gonna be huge because we can take photos of these bad boys. And I'm gonna take photos of these hats at the boardwalk. Okay, so we've taken a picture of us with this hat on. Let's go with the chef's hat now. And then, let's see here. Gas mask. And then, let's see here. A welding mask. And then, oh my god. Infinite meat glitch. How rich is this guy? A cloche. Full stench armor. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, that is massive. That is actually massive, that hat. We might be able to do the valve thing. Wow, we have 400 meat now. We are golden again. Alright, let's put on the stench armor. Listen. This is massive. And then let's put the car refresher on. 
And then we go to that distillery again. Yep, we go in here. This one, right? Or something? Which one? I have the stench armor now. It was this valve, I swear to you. Why can't we interact with it now? What? No, is it because the I needed the stench armor when the vampires were there? Oh man, what? What? Bro, come on. Don't do me like this. Oh, damn it, dude. Okay, never mind about that then. Let's take the bus and we let's just go to the next place. And let's take the bus to Porkham. Chapter 3, let's go! Getting started with chapter 3. Okay, but you know what? I think I'm gonna end this one here. I know we didn't get a lot of the main story done, but we got a lot of the side quests done, which is also probably just as important to get us prepared. So as always, if you enjoyed this one, make sure you smash the like button, comment your thoughts down below about this video, and subscribe if you want more. Apart from that, I'll see all of you beautiful people in the next one. Peace out.